Hello and welcome to another episode of The Sims 3. Voxen here is staring down the hallway of weird photos. Changes are afoot. Because the last four Sims expansions that I didn't have, which are Supernatural, Island Paradise, Into the Future and Showtime, I now have them. They're on sale, so I got them, so I've got all of the expansions now. But that does mean that a whole bunch of stuff has probably just been added into this world. In fact, they got me to place a few new buildings like these here. So the supernatural stuff and the futuristic stuff, I'm not really concerned about that too much. It will exist, but I'm not going to focus on it too much. But we do have things like this now. It's a full moon. I'm so glad to know. We've got stuff to do. Look, he's got to mop the floor. Just stop. No. And there's the Into the Future expansion uh, entrance thing. <laughs> yes. How about you get in the Where's Bella room? Oh, just go outside the Where's Bella room then. Just hide behind there. That's fine. Yeah, just keep mopping up Voxen. I don't even remember what caused this. Oh, the dishwasher's broken, isn't it? Well, Vibes can handle that. She's the handiness person. Oh my god, the raccoon messed with our bins. You little sneaky son of a... Oh, don't be too harsh on him. Nothing like a bit of chaos, after all. Yeah, well, you're the one who has to clean up, Voxen, so you can be a, the raccoon apologist. You know what, actually? You know what? You know what? This is a good time for me to make some changes here, because I'm sick of this place. Renovations, right? Renovations have to happen now. This bloody decking is the problem. Now, you know what? I'm getting rid of the decking. All right, I'm starting from scratch here. Boop. It's all going. <laughs> oh, I got rid of the flowers. I got rid of the flowers that Jack Bunch gave to Vibes and then Vibes gave to Voxen and I guess now it's been given to the Void. Okay, what a lovely house. I mean, you kind of have a house here. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Voxen, but we got, um, you know, a lot of work needs doing and I don't know if I can be bothered to do it all at once. Oh, Vibes got a promotion. Look at that. That's good timing, Vibes. A bonus of 528 simoleons. And she's no longer a test subject, she's a lab tech. Can you... I'm trying to talk here. Surely as a lab tech you won't have this ridiculous outfit anymore, right? Like you have something a bit more appropriate, you'll have a lab coat, that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, she comes home like, um, what happened to our house, Fox, and what did you do? I didn't do anything, it all just disappeared suddenly. How about you two just chat while I sort... <sighs> I figure out what I'm doing with this. Oh god. That's the problem now, I've destroyed everything, I've got to build everything again. Oh my goodness, right. <laughs> Probably needs a roof on it, doesn't it? Auto roof. Yes. What about black? <laughs> Pitch black house. Wow, that's certainly, it's making a statement, isn't it? Oh, I love it. It's an evil lair. Yeah, it's not really for me, to be honest. Oh, fine. Well, if you two can't agree on anything. you got a half and half house now. We got cool blue vibes and we got evil villain lair. And now I have 179 simoleons left and that's it. Yeah, this is actually quite bad because I think we have bills to pay. 144. Oh boy. Oh my god, look at the inside of this. This is terrible. I should have maybe not tried to expand too much until I had more money. But I gotta live with it now. I can't go back. I can make it smaller, but I'm just gonna leave it. We'll just, uh, we'll make this into a proper house. In due time, when we get more money, right? They're going up to here now, because this is the only, like... The Where's Bella room is the only kind of living area now. And she's trying to shoo Voxen out to next room. I need to put a door on the main bit. Clearly, that's the problem here. <laughs> he, oh, no, he's going in there. <laughs> Into the containment room with you, Voxen. Right, we're going to have to sell something, guys. We don't need all of this stuff. Yeah, let's get rid of this bath. Although, I think that will make this worse. Yeah, see, now, because that was a stolen item, now this lifetime wish has gone down. Hey, there we go. See, I mean, it's livable. It's functional, right? You can live here. Uh, oh, kind of. Foxen's going to scare vibes again. Foxen, I'm trying to make you two be friends, and you are not helping... <laughs> me do that, okay? You're still just completely neutral because you keep ruining any chance that you get. I just, I can't help it. It's in my nature. Well, maybe try and change your nature, right? People can improve. Stop reading books that aren't, or watching TV. Stop it. You need to read your book. I know what you're thinking. This place is unfinished and it's dirty. Listen, it could be worse, all right? Think, just think about that. It could be worse. Can you stop watching kids' shows as well, please? Just read in silence, all right? 
It's been a hard day for me and it's going to be some hard days ahead for you two. Perhaps you do need some help because the two of you clearly can't take on this challenge alone. So it's time to invite in a certain alien who's come to Earth to learn about humanity. Well, it took a while to make, but let me introduce the newest member of the Nova's Playthings household. It's Zablaublau! Zablaublau is originally, of course, from my Papa's series. Papa's Donutaria was the first time he appeared. And he wasn't very easy to recreate in The Sims because of features like ears and noses existing. So I tried to give him very sort of subtle, small ears, cutesy little nose. And then I couldn't really have an open, shocked looking mouth because it just showed teeth. So I had to give this sort of like squeezed in mouth. I like the black eyes, but yeah, he does look like a baby. I keep saying he, but as a being from another dimension, it's a they really, but in a human male presenting body. So Blah Blah wears the tackiest clothes you can ever imagine. And as far as the traits go, we have insane, because what an alien does may be considered insane to humans. Never nude, because you don't want to see those appendages. Perceptive, because Zablabla's whole thing is about investigating the human race and gathering details. And because of that, I think it'd be a kind of fun lifetime wish. Solve 35 cases on the job in the investigator profession. Zablabla is also socially awkward, because Zablabla is trying to fit in with the human race, and sometimes Zablabla doesn't get things completely correct. And Zablabla is also unflirty. Zablabla, in my opinion, would be... Uh, Asexual, I mean literally, the blah blah species probably reproduces asexually. And also aromantic. Uh, the blah blah is not going to mingle with humans. You know, you got a favorite color purple, custom music, so it can be whatever I want. Uh, you know, the blah blah's music preference is something unknowable. It's probably played on instruments made of milk. And the favorite food is key lime pie because it's kind of weird. So, yes, we have the blah blah. Long and skinny and a little bit baby-like and a little bit creepy and certainly an alien in a kind of poor disguise. So yeah, 16,500 simoleons. I don't want to be adding that much money to the household because I could just get infinite money from adding sims. I'll make my household funds go to a cap of 5,000. Oh, these two do not know what's about to hit them. If Vibes thinks Voxen's a bit of a weirdo, she has got no idea what has just arrived in the dead of night. The Blau Blau is here! The Blau Blau has arrived! The Blau Blau thinks this place is a bit of a shit heap. Well, the Blau Blau, if you want to start helping immediately, you could pay the bills. Why don't you do that? There you go, that's a lovely first thing for you to do. What is this contraption? Oh, well, uh, hello, the Blau Blau, I don't think we've met. This device is fascinating to me. Why do humans view this? Is this an important figure? In your human life? Yes, he's the guy who makes all the food in the world for us. It all comes from him. Why is this still leaking? Did I not deal with all this? Do you mind repairing that, Vibes? It keeps leaking everywhere. No! Yes, There's you're sleepy. Man! Yes, yes, yes. Look, you still got some time. It's fine. Come on now. Just chill out. That's your whole thing, right? You can fix a uh, dishwasher and be chill. Do you like my sausages? And you see, the blah blah, tofu dogs come from the tofu animal. The slaughter is quite aggressive, let me tell you. I'm going to keep munching. Yay, vibes, vibes. Go out, a wrench and hammer and repair the dishwasher. And your handiness is now level two. That's one step closer to your lifetime wish. What do you want to do then? Join investigator career, of course. Learn science. Do I need to do that? Nah. Learn logic. Oh my god. Guys, guys, one of the blah blah's colleagues just arrived. The blah blah, Chopez Kizozvan. How many cycles has it been since we last met? Shaka bra, hear that? What? Is that an alien thing? Shaka bra, speak madness. Oh. Sorry, that was my fault. I interrupted it. <laughs> oh, so blah blah, so blah blah. I think so blah blah has been a bit creepy. The open alien who's not even trying to hide it is weirded out by so blah blah. You don't know the power of so blah blah, okay? Chopez, Kizozavan, mock appearance. You don't even have a disguise. You're a very generic alien. Alright, there we go. That, that. Accuse of being a diva. 
<laughs> so Blah Blah thinks you are quite a diva. Uh, uh, blah Blah, no. No silly face. Goodbye. <laughs> that didn't go so well, did it? Jeez. Okay, the other two are asleep. Oh, Zipla Blah Blah doesn't have a bed. I don't really need another double bed, though. Let's be real. Bunk bed? That's fun. There you go, Zipla Blah Blah. Nothing like a bunk bed. And if we get a fourth person at some point, they'll have a space too. It'd be like closer to space where you come from. Oh, I forgot his sleepwear is some nonsense. <laughs> Look at the shoes. I think what's going on here, because I see this, right, this hat. That's not what I gave him for sleepwear, but I think one of his traits. When choosing clothes, your sim picks what feels right and not what necessarily is right. So he's choosing clothes that are for other outfits that I did, but he's wearing them at the wrong time. So that's a part of being insane is you just wear the wrong thing all the time. Fair enough. All right, vibes. Wow, you gotta you gotta go to work soon. She looks much more appropriate for work now. You know, I can drive to work myself now. I don't need this carpool business. Looking good there, vibes. Very nice. You've endured the pages of the book just as you enjoyed your duties as a test subject. Well, not anymore. It's admirable. Plus, you've learned mutation can be fun. So blah blah always has fun with mutation. Why is Boyd Wainwright got? Is he a celebrity? He's got like a golden thing around him. What is he famous for? Being slapped by me? Read something maniacal, Voxen. Read one of your recipe books. Look, you need to... Oh, you can't, can you? You can make ratatouille. Yeah, you can read ratatouille, do that. Voxen just learned how to make ratatouille. Delish! What a disgusting word. So you guys are still a bit unhappy with the place, huh? I guess I should furnish it a bit. Maybe that will improve your mood. Yes, okay, that's coming along. And we got the kitchen. We still got the living room here and this open plan bit. I mean, it's pretty similar to the other house. It's just bigger. You still got to go over here for the bathroom though, guys. Okay, sorry, but it's just the way it has to be. The door from doors and more. I guess I'll put a door onto it, but that's just a... It's a, a room ready for a potential bedroom or whatever we need it for. Let's see. So blah, blah is going to have some nonsense. Miscellaneous. Oh, geometric. Oh, yeah, that's good. Let's go with that. Rome wasn't built in a day, everybody, and neither was this... Uh, not amazing house. I mean, look, I can do a second floor as well. I don't need to expand wider anymore. This is what Zablaubla's vision looks like. There we go. Oh, isn't this nice? We're eating together. I gotta say, I'm a little bit creeped out at the moment. I, I really am. But uh, I suppose I just have to get used to it. Anyway, do you mind cleaning that up when you're done? <laughs> I'm going to watch some TV. Oh, Vibes has left work. Speaking of work, Zablaubla, I'm sorry. I know you just got here, but we got to get you a job because we need more money coming in. This, uh, being comes to your door and wants to be an investigator. Do you accept? If your sim is up for the challenge, a life of intrigue awaits. To find work, scan a computer to search for cases online or wait for a local to call your sim with a case. In the downtime, the police department can always use an extra pair of helping hands. What about an extra pair of helping tentacles? All right, we're doing it. So I think this is a active career where I have to actively take part in it. I can't just let them go to work and leave them be. So Blah Blah Blazal now owns a respectable coat befitting of a private investigator. Cool! We make $275 per week. Oh my god, so Blah Blah went into their uh, swimming outfit. Like Voxen, has flippers, but also went a bit further than Voxen and has the full diving gear snorkel. <laughs> well, I just left out the flippers, but this is ridiculous. Stakeout, conduct stakeouts. Wait, eating contest. I can stake out this eating contest. All right, well, let's see what happens. Let's go. Oh, that's... Yeah, it's a blah, blah. That one's not subtle at all, all right? You kind of need to blend in if you're going to do a stake out. The gastronomy club is holding an eating contest. Yeah, well, I'm not here to do the eating contest. I'm here to do a stake out. But, I mean, maybe we could do that to try and blend in a bit more. Oh, this is going to work, yeah. No one's here, Pauline Wan. Just a couple of bushes, moving in the breeze. <laughs> uh, look at this thing. You want to visit Egypt? We're not doing that for a while. Meet a jock. So Blabba, I would love to learn about jocks. If only I could afford a van, these stakeouts would be a lot easier. Are you trying to imply I should do something about that? Is it blah blah? You want me to buy a van? Anyway, you've done enough staking out. Let's do the eating contest. Hey, maybe you'll be eating steak out 
Uh, yeah, that's it. Placed first in the eating contest? While you're a bit stuffed, you've won a cash prize. When Zablablau eats, the food is sent to the communal stomach of Zablablau's home planet. All of Zablablau's species share this stomach. All must contribute, and all can receive in times of need. It's basically very advanced, like, healthcare, but for food, for hunger. Very interesting. Ah, uh, a friendly introduction, Zablablau. Poor Jack Bunch, meeting another absolute freak. Zablabla has heard all about you. Apparently you were trapped for three days. Zablabla was once trapped in a glopo hole for five of your human months. Oh, Voxen, you just sat there watching TV. You're a waster, you know that? You got no job. At least steal something. If you're gonna be not having a job, you need to go and steal something from somewhere. While Jack Bunch is out, maybe we could visit his household. Zablabla is distracting him. So Voxen can run over there. <laughs> let's go, let's steal some more stuff. Oh, the bunches are all in, what a bunch. Hey, the dog's still here. Ding dong. It's me again. You guys remember me, right? Oh, what is going on here? Ethan Bunch, are you okay? Oh, he is not. He is not okay. So I see you've become a werewolf. How edgy. Oh, you stink. Hello, Jack. How's it going? That's right, Voxen. Steal Jack Punch's car. <laughs> you know, I think when he sees it outside on our driveway, he's maybe going to assume something. Mirror? No, I think we're taking this silly little thing. Yep, we took a makeup set. Oh, it's nice to have a plate of hot dogs awaiting my return. Uh, Voxen, why are you going for the bunk bed? I don't know, I just want to sleep under the blah blah. Keep an eye on them, you know? Right, so blah blah, let's get yourself a. Uh... A desk and a computer set up if we can. Uh, yep, that's sure is a computer. Is Jack Bunch something as well? Is he a vampire? What's going on? I swear, you add an expansion to the game and suddenly everybody is a freak. Alright, now my household might as well be the normal one. And yay, level 2 logic. Oh my god. Jared Frio wants a blah blah to dig up some low level dirt on someone. Before the blah blah gets too deep into the case, the blah blah should check with Jared Frio for details that we cannot discuss over the phone. There's too many things going on at once, so this is just three Sims. Imagine if I had like eight Sims in my house. Yes, yeah, the blah blah goes to the toilet through. I mean, this is just performative. The blah blah doesn't actually need to use the toilet. I mean, I hope there's no shared toilet thing with the species like there is with the. The stomach. Hope there's no shared bowels, because that would be quite awkward. Uh, are you are you done? Like not going to the toilet? We gotta report in with Jared Frio. We gotta find what he wants. Here we go. So blah blah hears you have a case. Jared Frio is convinced Thornton Wolf works for a small criminal organization in town. Evidence is required before Jared can conduct a citizen's arrest. I should inspect the mail and search through the garbage at Thornton Wolf's home. Oh, he's a rich one. Hey, you find anything juicy there, there's a blah blah, hmm? Looks like you found some pretty seedy information. You can talk to the sim and attempt to blackmail them for money, but it's frowned upon. Okay, let's see. We found something incriminating in the mail, but maybe there's something even better in the garbage. The trash, the rubbish, the bin. God, the blah blah is so long. Look at this body. I mean, I guess that's just what the Sims look like when they do this. It's quite a contortionist act. But I made the blah blah as skinny and thin as possible, so... It's a little bit creepy. Yeah, nobody can bend over like that. What the hell? Look how weird that is. Aha! Based on the notes in his discarded diary, Thornton Wolf is an aspiring crony, even though he's rich, in the local crime syndicate. Jared is quite the observant local snoop and probably a creepy neighbour. Well, it's not our place to judge him, so blah blah, we just gotta do the job. All right, we did it. Jared Frio squealed with delight when Zablabla presented the evidence. Zablabla has never seen somebody so happy to witness criminal activity. Some people just don't get enough excitement during their normal day to day. It seems like Zablabla just hates Jared Frio. <laughs> like, Zablabla is doing this work happily, but also does not respect the people that they're working for. All right, let's get some, uh... there we go, we got wood there. Uh, we probably need to separate this out a bit. Let's do that. Look, it's getting better and better as we go on. No, Voxen, stop playing computer games. That's, that's for the blah blah to do work on, for goodness sake. I knew you'd be the one to do that. Let's high five vibes. This will be good. Hey, I'm surprised it even went well. Maybe we just keep doing that. Tell a joke. Ha, <laughs> trees! Aren't they so funny? Growing like that. 
Oh yeah, hilarious. Come on, we're making this work. We're being friends. Compliment cleverness. You are very intelligent. Thanks. There we go, that was easy. Ask about day. How was your day, Voxen? I'm talking about you here, you know. Ah, oh, it was perfectly reasonable, yes. Wow, Zablabla is really good at cleaning things up. I didn't make Zablabla neat or anything, but so far they're the only one who's actually actively been cleaning and stuff. Come on. Stop. No, no, don't do that. Stop, guys, please. It never lasts long. They just sort of stop afterwards. <laughs> oh, you. You're staying awake until you're friends, guys, all right? You don't get to sleep until you two are friends. There's three people in this house now. It's getting very, like, it's getting more and more convoluted. So we need at least a friendship. Oh, they're friends. Yes. Now, who am I being? Eh, hey, hey, hey. I, 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 blah, 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 blah. Run, run, I run. Uh, that's right, Forrest Gump. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Pillow fight with vibes, vibes. Well, you want to do that now? Pillow fight? Like your little kids? Ask to pillow fight. Come on in. Oh, God, Voxen, that was a bit harsh, wasn't it? Oh, whoa, all right. No, never mind. Vibes is right in there. Boom. It's a good thing this is all consensual and fun. I kind of want to put rocks in mine, but I wouldn't do that to Vibes. <laughs> if it was Boyd Wainwright, maybe. Oh, <laughs> wait, what the heck? I didn't realize you were there, so blah, blah. <laughs> Just crawling into bed <laughs> above them. <laughs> And then you're going to wear your mask to sleep, I see. All right. Uh, what woke you up? The phone? Well, how did you... So blah blah is going to bed through the wall. There's a ladder on this side, but I guess they're in the way. But you can also go up the other side, apparently. So there's a blah blah <laughs> can go from the outside through the wall into bed. I'm not going to change it. I like that. that. That works perfectly. Phasing through a wall. It's probably something the blah blah can do. Oh, an investigation. The case of the missing golden llama is getting ice cold, and the local police could sure use your sim's help. Only a psychic can dissect the scene of the crime. Offer your psychic services. When did this career involve being psychic? I mean, the blah blah does have mind powers, of course, but I didn't realize this was a thing. Well, I guess I should accept it. Oh, total luck. Totally. Why? Hey, totally. I'll do your case. What? That's not yeah, Zablawa's yeah. voice, but maybe that could be another character's uh, voice. <laughs> Every time. Look at this. They do this little flirting nonsense. And then they stop immediately. See? And then he starts ranting about something. Maybe the flirting is just like sort of jokey, you know, just between friends. You know, just a little bit joking around. Finally, new friends. Now, as a blah blah, we need to do the same with both of them. But that will happen in time. They've only just arrived. Also, they've still got the car in the pocket. <laughs> How does that work? Oh yeah, we need to get out the, um, we got the van that Voxen stole from Jack Bunch. <laughs> there we go, like, or Darlene Bunch actually it belongs to. Darlene Bunch's for everything van. We got two cars now and so Blah Blah can use this for stakeouts maybe. We also have uh, a beauty box. So obviously we need to give that to the Blah Blah. Vibes got a letter in the mail from Boyd Wainwright. It reads, I find you attractive, but I couldn't tell you in person. Boyd, you're just right there. You are right there in this house. Do you want me to send over Voxen and the blah blah, huh? You want that? So anyway, <laughs> now that I've got no distractions, I think that's where I'll end it for this episode. It's been quite an unusual one, quite an interesting one. But with three sims, there's a lot we can do now. A lot of different activities and goals to strive for. Number four might not come in for a while yet, I might just focus on these three. In any case though, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye bye.